What up guys, Gabe with Tight Lines here. Recently Bonafide Kayak did an update to the seats on both their SS107 and their SS127 Kayak. They sent me free parts to do the update. I'm gonna show you how to put them in. Sometimes when companies come up with new products, they have to do updates. Bonafide's no different. I was an early adopter to the Bonafide SS127 kayak. It's a great kayak, I love it. And the great thing is, they sent me free parts to do the update. So I'll show you exactly how to put them in here. Now, you're probably wondering what they sent. Well, on this seat, uh, there's a spot back here that the seat kind of sits on and it sits right on the plastic. So what they sent was these wear pads that you can actually mount down on this and that way they rest, uh, the seat actually rests on these wear pads rather than resting on the kayak itself. Just reduces wear. The other thing they sent is a latching mechanism with a cable and that's so that the seat, when in the down position, you can lock it onto the back of the seat that way the seat doesn't fall forward. I'm assuming that's during transportation so that you don't have anything falling out of the kayak. Let's get to the install. All right, first thing you gotta do is remove the seat. After you get your seat removed, I suggest unpacking the contents of your package and make sure you have everything. You should have a pair of wear pads, the left and right side. They'll send a bag of stainless steel screws, and these are what you're gonna use to mount the wear pad down to the kayak. And then inside the bag of screws, there's also a double-sided drill bit. And this is used to drill holes in the kayak here so that you can screw down the wear pad into this area. Now where you're gonna mount these wear pads is right where the seat rests on this plastic material right here. You can see there's kind of like a little lip that's kind of formed into the plastic. If you look at the wear pad that they give you, it also has a little lip. Now this doesn't mount on top of it or ahead of it, it actually mounts right behind it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure that this is flush, you're gonna push this surface all the way to this edge and hold it in place. Make sure that this line of your wear pad is parallel with the line of the kayak. Now it's not gonna be perfectly flush with it. It's gonna be actually in a little bit, but you want it to be parallel with that. Then we're gonna drill a hole here and put our first screw in. Then we're gonna drill a hole back here and put our next screw in. What that does is it holds this wear pad in exact position so that we can drill out the rest of the holes, put all the screws in, and then we'll move to the other side. If you're worried about this moving at all when you're trying to drill through it, you can always take a piece of tape and hold this in place with something like duct tape or masking tape just so that it's not shifting around. But it's not that difficult to keep this aligned because the size of these holes are pretty big and you're only putting an eighth inch drill bit through this. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. I'll show you how to do this. First, we're gonna line it up, make sure that I'm parallel with the kayak. I've got my drill bit here. We're just gonna drill right in the center of the kayak. Nice and easy like so. And then we're gonna take a screw and install a screw in this hole. Now, Bonafide says do not use a drill. And if you're not used to using power tools, I don't recommend using a drill, use a screwdriver. I'm gonna use a drill because I work with power tools a lot, so I know how much torque you can put into this thing before it starts to strip out the plastic. So we're just gonna go in slow. And she's down. All right, now we're gonna double check to make sure that we're flush. I've got this piece as tight as I can get this way, and we're gonna drill this corner hole in the opposite corner of the wear pad, right here. All right, again, taking the same bag of screws and your drill, or for you a screwdriver, whichever you prefer, and slowly tighten it down. Now, now that this is locked in place, I can go ahead and drill out the rest of the holes and this pad's not gonna move anywhere. This makes the installation a lot faster. All 
All right, and that's what the finished installation looks like. Get you a little closer there. And see, we've got it mounted very, very nice. This is tight to the gunnel. You got this mounted right where the seat is gonna sit so that you got a nice wear pad that's gonna move back and forth. Now we gotta do the other side, and then we'll get to the seat retainer. Well, now that we got the wear pads installed, let's go ahead and put the seat back in, give it a test, see how it works. Okay, I can see why they put this pad here. Uh, there's a big piece of plastic right here on the back of the seat, and if you get this slamming down here, I can see where it might be able to do some damage in the plastic for the kayak. So adding this extra wear pad here definitely helps stop any extra damage. There's another clear advantage that I noticed with this wear pad, and that's if you have your seat in the up position where your rear support is down here, it locks in right behind this lip and is also resting on the wear pad. You can see that it's gonna be a lot more stable and reduce wear on the kayak. Let me get you a close up so you can see it better. You can see where the seat sits normally. This is that large piece of plastic I was talking about. And without the wear pad, it's gonna be slamming down into the kayak quite a bit. So having that wear pad there is nice. And if you're in the up position, that little perch back here, not only locks the seat in place, but it also supports it with that wear pad so you get a lot less wear. And that brings us to the last of the modification, which is probably the easiest, and that's the seat retainer. The manufacturer provides you with a bungee and two clips, and where they go is right behind the seat. Now the manufacturer from the factory provides a bungee system in the back that goes through a bunch of eyelets. Now these two eyelets here is where this bungee cord gets attached. It goes through these two clips, and then those clips attach to this cross support bar in the back of the seat, and that has two functions. Number one is it keeps the seat down, especially during transportation. But the more important thing is, if this seat is not locked in place with this locking mechanism, and you end up flipping the kayak upside down, you're gonna lose the seat. It's gonna sink right to the bottom because there's nothing in here to hold the seat in if it goes upside down unless you have this locked in place. That's what this extra bungee's for, and I'm gonna show you how to install it. Well, as you can see here, this is the manufacturer's cable system that's installed from the factory in the tank well. You've got these eyelets on either side, it's actually in each corner, and then this bungee system that goes through, and this is for retaining equipment in the tank well. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the cable, and it's gonna go through this eyelet right here. It's gonna go, pull yourself out a little bit of slack. Then you're gonna install your clip. Now these clips have to be facing forward like this here so that you can lock it on the seat. So you got one and two clips. And then this is gonna go straight across through the other bungee and make its way back. Now, you want these about centered, and what you have to do next is you have to tie a fisherman's knot, and I'll show you that real quick. All right, a fisherman's knot's real easy to do, and I got a piece of wire here to show you how to do it. What you do is you've got a piece of wire or your cable here, and you crisscross the ends Give yourself a little bit of slack. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna come inside and then you're gonna go way up high. So inside and up high. Then this piece is gonna go back through that hole. So this comes back through here and it looks kind of like a pretzel when you're done with it. So if I pull this cable out, you're basically just tying a knot, but you're leaving a loop in it. So you go through here do the same on this side. Come around, around the end, back through, again, making a pretzel. Now, it's not gonna work too good on this wire, but it will work on that cable. What you do is once they get close, you pull on them tight and they shrink down on top of each other. And basically you have two knots that are in an opposite direction and that's gonna stop it from coming loose. That's what we're gonna do here. Your knot should look something like this when you're done. 
And you wanna have about three quarters of an inch hanging out with that little tag end right there. And that's that way it won't come undone. But that's what a fisherman knot looks like when you're all done with it. And that is going nowhere. Now that you got your seat retainer all installed, what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach these clips right to the back of this seat brace. What that does, it stops your seat from moving around, so that way if you flip over, you're not gonna lose your, your seat in the water. Um, when I talked about transportation, I'm not talking about driving down the road with this thing, that would just be dangerous if you lift this up. It's more along the lines of transporting from your vehicle to the water or going through a woods or if your kayak's shifting a lot, that way the seat doesn't fall out. That's what I mean by transportation. The other note is if you are in this in the low position and you want to go to the high position, it doesn't go so easy. So you're going to have to detach these, then you can move into the, the up position and then you go ahead and lock them back into place. Other than that, I think this is a great addition from Bonafide, and I'm glad they provided it free of charge to their customers. Well, that was a pretty easy installation. You guys probably didn't need a video for it, but I figured I'd do it anyway. And kudos to Bonafide for providing the equipment. That's a great update, and I hope you guys get some enjoyment out of it. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed the content, hit the like button down below. If you want to subscribe to the channel, hit a button that looks like this down below, and you'll be notified of future videos coming out. And if you're going out fishing, as always, best of luck and tight lines.